If you have a push-up or plank sequence involving a shoulder tap, this is what you're going to do. If you have a plank with a shoulder tap, you're going to come down into your strong plank position, hands under shoulders. On your knees is fine. Back is long and straight, chin is tucked. You're going to alternate tapping your hand across the body to your opposite shoulder. Tapping, tapping. If you pull the knees off the floor, same deal. I would take the feet a little bit wider so you have more stability. Remember, we don't want the bike, the bike, the butt to pike and we don't want the hips to sag. Nice long spine. A couple things, if you start to move a bunch, if your chest starts to open, hips start to wiggle, put the knees down. We wanna keep the shoulders, the chest and the hips facing the floor. And again, one helper cue is if you take your knees a little bit wider, or your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, you have more stability. I'll show you that again from the front. Knees down, shoulder taps, see nothing's moving except my hands. Super strong brace through your core. This is really a full body exercise, big reactive core work since you're moving on the toes, same thing. My feet are in the wall, right like that. If you have a push up with a shoulder tap, you will do one push up, tap your shoulder. One push up, tap the opposite shoulder if I program that for you. Same thing, remember, if your knees are on the ground, you're always, always, always gonna have your toes tucked as well. None of this business, okay? Put the feet down. Push up, shoulder tap. Push up, shoulder tap. I love this combination because it allows you for that pure strength, that really strong push through the hands in the push up, and then that stability work as you come into a tripod position. And hit the shoulder tap with one knee or one foot on the ground. Enjoy.